Hello everyone, my name is Uthris, and welcome back to Timber and Stone, episode whatever. Uh, I forgot just as soon as I started doing this, I guess. Anyways, uh, last episode we have finished up the, I guess the outside of the Town Hall, Great Hall area. And it is looking good. It has its two little battlements to the left and right. Uh, in between the episodes, I have been digging away at the inside, trying to get this all kind of dug out and finished. And I also am starting to build up the walls here and for the windmill. That is a major task that we need to do today, as this is still a weak spot, and hostiles will flood in using this area. So I want to get that taken care of quickly as possible. I need this back brace wall done as well. So, to excuse me while I do that, umber brick, and I need. Uh, shoot, where to go? Where is my field stone? There it is. Not a whole lot has been going on. It's been relatively quiet, which is good. It has allowed me to focus on getting everything kind of ready for today's episode. And things are looking good for us. Our current new blacksmith, I believe at the moment she is named Nicole, because I haven't gone back and looking at names of things just yet. But I need to try and level her up as quickly as possible so she can replace uh, the lost lost soldier Alkiri. Um Shame that we kind of missed out on that. I mean, he was like a level uh, 16 blacksmith or something. So it, it's it's rough when that when that kind of a setback happens. But you know, to wish was still here, and some other people, of course. You know, Jacqueline, Starbuckle, Elaine. Selena, I don't remember. Jenny, you know, Exterminator, Generic, you know, we, we still have a good amount of people. And at some point, of course, we'll have to build a, uh, some type of religious structure and a church, not a church, a graveyard. Keep digging, dig away at these walls. We'll be building new ones. Construction, flooring, flat stone. There we go. So I'll go ahead and set it to double speed. So that things progress. Our food is hovering around 700 at the moment, which is okay. It's definitely okay. Our little herd over here, uh, Agnes, is chilling out with all the animals. Now I do have a wheat surplus and I do want to kind of rectify that a little bit. And I think maybe the best way to do that is to domesticate some more animals so they consume more of our wheat as we are producing too much for um, how many animals we currently have. Not really seeing anything out in the distance. I would like more chickens. Chickens are basically just a good food source to have. Um, I believe we are pretty much out of leather as well, and that's something I'm going to have to try and rectify at some point. This just looks so nice. I'm really liking how well everything is turning out. I can't really make someone an adventurer, so you will probably notice that I'll use feed free camera, not feed, I don't know why, probably because I was by the animals. A free camera to kind of fly around looking at things. I think that's probably one of the best ways to do so. And I'm, I'm, I can't really picture the, the windmill in my head just yet. I have some basic ideas and shapes that I want to try, but 
it, it's going to be one of these builds for sure that is going to be a lot of trial and error. And it might take a couple episodes to get that done and to a point that I'm happy with. I'm going to replace that with wooden floor because that's technically inside the structure of the windmill once we get there. Ellie is coming over to take care of that little spider and successfully does so rather quickly, which is nice. Marshall, stop. Ithris, go back as well. Y'all can just return back to your guard posts. Terminator, what are you doing? You're a stun mason. Ooh, another spider. Is it climbing over the wall? It is climbing over the wall. Did it? Oh, wow. It just crossed the whole building. And now it's just sitting on the wall and then going up the stairs and it's down. Killed by D's nuts. It's real rough. I feel like the pathing is a little bit broken for units here with this 1.7 update what happens if something dies that they're going to they kind of still want to go to that location while they're trying to update and they kind of stutter on their way there a little weird a little weird indeed yeah the great hall is definitely going to turn out nice see if I can't. Objects, furniture, I need a large table. So it's gonna have two large tables. That'll hopefully fit nicely on these ends. Plenty of chairs, things like that. I might make a fireplace nook on each side or something. I'm not 100% sure interior decorating wise. Uh, what we're going to do. That'll come in time. Okay, so let's let's get these chairs going. Okay, so can I just skip a space and it work out? Yep. That is the best solution to wait for that one. Uh, let's get a large table here as well. And then of course we will try and get as many people sitting here as possible. So you just want to make sure because for example if someone sits in this chair and sits in this spot, okay? This person in this chair has to sit in this spot. But if a person sits in this chair and blocks that spot off, no one can sit in this chair. Um, it's just how they do uh, objects like that. Same with the beds. Beds kind of work the same way. Let's do a wooden chair. There we go. Looks like we have spotted a spider. So we can just charge that. Spiders aren't really an issue. In fact, more spiders, please. Uh, anything but archery units. So, no skeleton archers, no goblin archers, and I think I'll be a happy camper. Now, I don't know if I really want objects to make a little throne here of some kind. Construction. Walls, castle brick. I mean, it would look nice for sure. It would kind of give off a more regal feel. But it is also at the same time not supposed to be a castle. 
just like a, a feasting hall more than, more or less but I suppose they're almost one and the same if you think about it uh, let's let's try it uh, let's see if we can do this and make it look good so construction we'll do flooring and we can do pave stone it should be flat stone. We'll do something like this. And see if we can't put a chair or two up here. Put some roofing as well. Do the Nordic shingles. that and then we'll do some I guess a shrubbery to each side Should be okay and then followed by statue on each side after that that might look pretty cool so we'll have to see what this all comes together and looks like in the morning because it is nighttime, day 50, and I'll see you guys as soon as some more progress is made. Okay, everyone, so it is almost morning on day 54 here, and we have a little bit of a necromancer problem approaching our nice little town here. Uh, they're pretty much right in this area right now, and as you can see, I have gathered up all five of our basically weapon ready people and we're just kind of waiting for them to engage because as soon as the the skeletons kind of come into our line of sight the archers should in theory start poking at them they have quite a good range now that they have the best bow that they could get and we're just kind of going to wait a second or two and try and I guess charge at a good time to try and pick them off as they are spread out and as you kill these skeletons the nice thing about it is the fact that the necromancer will just keep trying to summon more and so if you're able to keep on top of that, the skeletons stop being a threat and the necromancers just stop being a threat as uh, he, he pr pretty much stun locks himself by constantly trying to summon skeletons. And as a skeleton is being summoned, the nice thing too, is he is essentially stunned. And when it's stunned and raising up from the ground, um, you can essentially get a nice free kill on it, which was a little weak, but he's going to go after the, the Necromancer at this point by himself, and he should be able to just kill it, because the Necromancer will just continue to summon these zombies. And that's generally how I deal with these things when they happen. As you can see, plenty of these things were uh, killed. Now, I don't no for sure but i'm 99 percent sure these guys don't drop anything it's kind of a shame wish they did and then you can quickly just switch everyone back to what they were before and you are free to remove your temporary guard positions as they won't be needed and you can assign people back to your previous ones and archers, there we go. Um, some progress has been made, as you can see over here on the windmill. It is very boxy at the moment, and I know this. It is something that I'm going to be working on over time, as I just need to keep adding layers onto it to make it look a whole lot better. Um, I don't think I have it over here, no. Essentially, what I plan on doing 
as you can see that I'm stirring these peaked roots and I'm going to do two layers of these. So a peaked roof and then another layer right behind it, a peaked roof to kind of bring it in. And then at the top of that, I will do a nice uh, cylinder to raise up the rest of the structure. We have a wolf problem, it seems. Not really the best thing to see, but it's, it's okay. One wolf. Not really a problem, I don't know. Usually there's a pack of them. I don't know how well our HP is to deal with a pack, but one wolf can definitely uh, go down rather quickly, which is nice. Not a whole lot else to report in the town. It has been almost four days. It's been about three, I believe, from the last time you guys saw everything. I'm trying to keep up with the building materials, but it's getting harder and harder as we are switching from a survival state to an, a building expansion state. It, it, that transition can be pretty rough uh, initially. So until I can get some more coins and maybe subsidize our, our lacking of materials with something, some other way to get them, um, we're kind of going to be slowing down a little bit here. The inside of our great hall is pretty much done. Uh, it, I think it turned out great. Let me, I need some lighting though. I need a new wall sconce over on this wall. And I need a shrubbery followed by a statue. Now these shrubberies won't be built as I'm kind of out of seedlings to build them. It's kind of a shame, but it'll be a little while until that's ready to go. But it's nice and well lit on the inside now. All I have to do at this point is finish taking off the roof in terms of the stone, because remember we only did three high here. And then at that point, I'll try and carve some type of cool looking arches that's supporting a lot of the mountain because um, as you can see, this would be really heavy to support. Other than that, uh, this retaining wall is done. It's holding up the mountainside nicely. And then went ahead and laid out some of the foundation for the storage barn. that's going to be sliding into the mountainside, just like this is kind of, which will look pretty cool. And I think that's going to do us for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more creative goodness. If you're new, go ahead and check out some of my other things that I've been doing. Uh, Medieval Engineers, the airship is looking great, I have to say. And we're about to move that into Bridgehaven, and which will be awesome. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.